Today on the channel from the Marvel Legends Retro Collection, we've got Lady Loki. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Marvel Legends unboxing and review as today we've got Lady Loki from the Retro Series. But remember, for all your Marvel Legends needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description below. So Lady Loki is here. Now this is a bit of a repaint as they usually do with some of these Marvel Legends. You know, uh, these are harder to get back in the day and now they get re-released. Maybe a little paint changes, a little, little differences here. Obviously package differences and that's exactly what we got with Lady Loki here. She was previously as part of an A4 San Diego Comic Con exclusive box set back in the day. One I did not have. So I am very happy to get this Lady Loki and I could see some people that have maybe that A4 set Maybe they're passing on this. They say, hey, I already got it. Don't need an updated version, and I understand that as well. So, of course, we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. As you guys know, I'm a sucker for packaging, and the packaging doesn't get much better than this Lady Loki. I love the retro carding. Brings me back to my childhood with the old-school Toy Biz superheroes. Hulk, Captain America, Iron Man, you guys know all the guys from back then. Uh, but very, very cool carding, really reminiscent of your childhood. Nostalgia is a thing, and a lot of people buy these because of nostalgia reasons. That being said, Lady Loki was never on this card back in the day, so it's an interesting idea to put her on here. I'm not sure why they decided to put her here. Uh, we also got Falcon and a few others of recently on here, and I'm skipping that Falcon figure. It's not enough meat on the bone for me. I would have rather seen this line stay with the classic guys. Give me the Fantastic Four were on this kind of carding back in the day. Uh, we had, you know, Daredevil, like I said, Spider-Man, Venom. There was Dr. Octopus. A lot of guys on this kind of carding. Uh, Lady Loki just wasn't one of them. And I don't even remember regular Loki wasn't a part of this either. So it's just a little bit of a strange deal there. But that being said, the packaging is still very cool. Packaging, there's the figure. Got a little glamour shot right there. Loki in green. I wore my green here. Uh, looking good today. You better be wearing green today, I guess. There it is. Uh, Marvel at the top. On the back, of course, we've got the blurb. We'll read that in a second. You got UPC's warnings, all that down below. We got another little glamour shot right there at the top. So very, very cool. Very reminiscent of the old days. And of course, ages four and up. She just comes with two hands. Looks like two fists. She's ready to throw down. You guys know I love a good fist. Uh, but no weapons, no swords, no nothing with Lady Loki. But without further ado, we're going to grab her out. But first, you know, before I open her, I should probably read the back. I almost got ahead of myself here. Let's read the back and see what's going on. See what all the fuss is about with Lady Loki. The trickster god Loki is a master shapeshifter, talking or taking on nearly any appearance at will. So it really didn't tell us a whole lot there. But, you know, I don't want to forget. Don't want to forget. It happens from time to time. Just don't want to forget. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. All right, plastic prison time. There it is. There's Lady Loki. Uh, to me, I always think of Loki as a male. Maybe that's just me. Uh, but the times I read comics, stuff like that, he was a male. Of course, in the uh, movies as of late, he was a male. But then if you go to uh, the, uh, uh, what was the series called? Loki. Yeah, it was just Loki, wasn't it? On Disney+. Plus. I watched every episode with Owen Wilson and all them. Uh, there was a tons of different Lokis as we saw. So that was a little bit uh, different uh, as I'm just used to the male Lokis myself. And I'm sure a lot of you guys as well. Let's see how she come out. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. Uh, I guess let me know in the comments. Do you prefer a lady Loki or are you a male Loki guy like myself? You guys let me know. But we got her out of the package here. A female figure. Very, very interesting hands. That's where the first thing that drew me to right away. She's got some magical, mystical hands. Like she's getting ready to levitate or do some yoga. Or maybe rock out at a heavy metal show. Who knows? You never know with Lokis. Uh, they're everywhere. They do everything. Uh, but very, very interesting hands. They look a little strange from above when you look down at them. They got a, just kind of a weird weird look to them but it does look pretty cool uh, it does look different and actually i am going to use these and keep these hands on here i don't think i'm going to go fist with lady loki uh, nothing wrong with her fist i mean it's just two female fists but is what it is but i'm going to keep the magical hands here especially since she has no weapons of any kind so that is a little strange i feel uh, but it is what it is. I figured she'd have a sword, a dagger, something, but nothing, nothing. Uh, but then she has the overcoat, overcoat, 
how about a cape, we'll call it. It is cape season after all, but with a nice fur lining at the top, nice cape, sculpted in there, kind of a pea brownish color going on. Uh, and then the fur, of course, a little bit lighter at the top, really setting the two colors apart. Head sculpt, she's got, of course, the Loki crown, the little horns up there that, you know, that says, hey, it's Loki. He's got the horns going on. And then she's got jewels in her hair, black hair throughout with nice little jewels throughout. Looks really good. Nice face on here. The green eyeshadow, green makeup really brings the whole outfit together. Beautiful head sculpt here. I like this figure a lot and probably more so because I didn't have the old figure. So it makes me like this one a little bit more. But then you got her skirt going on here. It is not removable, but uh, I don't think, yeah, it is not removable, uh, but it is free floating there. So it does float off. It's not sculpted in, it's not stuck in, it's not glued down or anything like that. But you got the nice kind of loincloth look and you got those gold pieces that are in her hair floating throughout. And then you got her outfit on, but it's very scaly looking. It almost looks like something Aquaman would wear, like very seawater uh, type stuff going on, but nice greens and yellows, very Oakland A's colors, of course, but blending in there looks really good. Uh, articulation wise, single jointed uh, elbows there of no bice. Oh, no, she does have bicep swivel or she does have that. Hands removable, of course, if you want to put the fists on her. Uh, you got the swivel at the waist, you got up, down, a little bit of that. No ab crunch on the females. You got the thigh swivel. You got the knees look to be double jointed. Yes, double jointed knees. And then you got the ankles that pivot, rock, all that like we're used to with our Marvel Legends. Uh, one annoying thing is these uh, knee cap pieces here are floating. So they do float around. They do fall down. Uh, they remind me of those bands that go around Cyclops' legs that are kind of annoying. These will fall down over time. But they do move out of the way for articulation if you need to. So I guess it's, uh, it doesn't limit the sculpt, which is nice. Uh, but not a terrible figure, not not bad at all. Uh, for me, I had to get it because I didn't have the prior version, but I can see, like I said, a lot of people skipping out on this one. Does she fit on a ringside stand? She does. So if you are so inclined, you need her on a stand, you can put her on the ringside stands, like I always say. I did grab another Loki here, another comic version of Loki. Uh, now this one is coming back out as well. I am going to pass on it. Yes, it does have a different head. Yes, it does have some daggers. I don't think there's enough meat on the bone for old Kyle to get another version of this Loki. Uh, it's just not. Maybe if it's on clearance one day, maybe I'll swoop in and pick something up, but just don't see that happening. But the A-Force female Loki, I'm picking that one up all day long, as you saw right here. So there it is, short and sweet. Any thoughts from you guys out there? Are you all about this Loki? Uh, is an easy pass. Did you have the old one? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'd love to hear them. And of course, you made it this far. You might as well thumbs up the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. Follow along on Patreon. Link in the description below. Sir Paul 64 is where you can find me on Twitter. And then Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson and ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for the Loki family, I am Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.